Bengaluru has seen one of its wettest Mays in 66 years. The unprecedented rains have again waterlogged the city and also as usual we have seen there have been even calamities that was been casualties also that were seen because of that. And once again, the newly formed Congress government under the Chief Minister Siddharamaya not only have to deliver the five guarantees but they also need to deliver on priority a flood-proof Bengaluru. Now, we at News 18, we spoke to several experts, civic experts, urban experts, to understand how Bangalore can now cope up, especially with the rains coming the next few months. And we've seen the kind of deluge that Bengaluru saw, especially in September and November of last year. Well, the experts have very simple answers to this, but these simple answers also require a lot of complex work. They also require a lot of other technical details as well. I'll break it down very simply for you. The first part is and which has been across the board all experts talk about is cleaning the drains, the Raja Karaways. These stormwater drains are the ones that have been encroached by illegal construction and that is why the water is unable to flow. We've seen the tragedy where uh, Infosys uh, Techie who was uh, travelling along with her family, she went right in her vehicle, she uh, she died un in a underpass where the water was flooded and she couldn't, they, she couldn't, they couldn't save her but they could save the rest of the family. Again. This is another issue that they are talking about in terms of how the water gets locked because there is no drainage system and there is no water to flow out. Another interesting thing is to understand how Bangalore is topographically also, it, the KC Valley, it starts from the top and then it, all the way to the areas that are worst affected that we saw maybe last year, even now, that is Belandur, Mahadevpura, these areas, it's like a crucible. And so when the water or the rainwater flows, it comes and lands itself and that is why we see these kind of floods or these areas that are getting flooded. Also, what is also important, what urban experts have said, is that it is top priority of the government and especially of the BBMP and other uh, agencies that work in uh, flood relief and such kind of uh, issues is the fact that they said that flood plains in Bengaluru have to be identified and these flood plains, if there are people staying, they have to be evacuated immediately because loss of life, loss of property is something that we see immediately that happens because of these rains and this is one thing that needs to be done on priority and number three which is most important is also making, marking areas where which can get flooded with paint on them to tell people if the water rises above this level it is dangerous. These are basic simple things that can be put in place immediately but there are long term issue, uh, issues as well, there are long term solutions as well but that will mean an interagency coordination between the BBMP, BESCOM, BWSSB and all the other agencies working together. But on priority, the Congress government also right now has to emphasize the fact that Bengaluru cannot be flooded again and as the Deputy Chief Minister of Karnataka, Mr. D.K. Shukmar said that the image of Bengaluru being a flooded city itself has to be removed, rather they have to work towards creating a safer Bengaluru, a Bengaluru that people will love to come and more importantly, when it rains, it is be a flood-proof Bengaluru which is most important for people to tell. Swami in Bengaluru for CNN News 18.